All right, so I just wanted to go over uh, some ways I get my struggling writers to write at the beginning of the year. And the first thing I focus on is many of my struggling writers, they're fearful of writing. Uh, they'll say, hey, writing is boring, or some students will say they hate it. Um, there's just a negativity towards writing. So the first thing I try to do is to build some positivity towards writing. And I do that with ideas. So I did this as last week. I'll leave everything that I use in the description of this video, but um, I try to focus on ideas because a student's writing can be a mess, right? But in that mess, you can often find ideas or gems in there that you can build on. And that's what you're looking for, positivity, positivity and things you can build on. So I'll look through a student's writing and say, oh, wow, that's a very interesting idea on school. Where did you learn that? Or how did you think of that? Or can you explain more? Um, so the activities I give early on are students are, are activities that build on students' ideas. And what I do is I have students sit down, piece of paper, no phone, just your own thinking and ideas on a topic. So this week we did write 250 words or more on what comes to mind when you think of school, okay? And many students are gonna say, I don't know. I don't know what I think about school or they'll have very little ideas. Um, in reality, they have lots of ideas, okay? You can ask them like, what does the ideal school look like? Um, could you imagine school with kind of like a zoo where students are taught how to take care of wild animals? What about a uh, school with, uh, you could learn how to be a mechanic. What if we diversified classes or gave more electives? Or sometimes students want to talk about all the things they dislike about school. Great, why, what do you dislike and why? Just give me ideas. And what I do is I, I get students ideas and I celebrate them, one thing, okay? keep it positive. And then it's also important, I think, to give students early on a sense of accomplishment. And I do this by giving out, I give out a certificate to students. I'll leave the certificate I use. If you reach those 250 words of your own thinking, your own ideas, no phone, okay? 250 words, you'll get a certificate. Uh, and that certificate celebrates this accomplishment. And when I do this, Half the students think it's the dumbest thing they've ever gotten. Like, why do I get a certificate for t writing 250 words? But the other half love it. I had a student who was taking a picture of his certificate, sending it to his dad, saying, my dad is never going to believe that I wrote 250 words. And he even took a picture of what he wrote. <laughs> um, some students are going to love getting that certificate, but they'll never admit it. Okay? Boom. You've made progress. You've turned... You're building positivity when it comes to writing and students' ideas. You're affirming that they have ideas, that they can sit down and write down their ideas. Because a lot of students are dependent on technology for ideas. They want to use their phone. They get ideas from their phone and whatnot. Um, and what I want students to realize is that if they sit down, okay, and they can't think of ideas, but they have patience, and they endure that process of creative tension, that ideas will come, okay? That's what I wanna teach them early on, that if you sit there in your thoughts, that ideas will blossom, like something will come of it. You have ideas. You just have to get used to that process, okay? So I like to ritualize things with certificates in this case. Uh, 